Hi, I'm Karen Talbot, and I'm speaking to you today from my studio here in Laguna Beach, California. Um, I wanted to make this short video today to talk about the term gicle. Uh, I've been selling my work as limited edition gicle reproductions for a few years now, and I've come to realize that many collectors don't have the good, a good understanding of what the term gicle means. Um, having also spent a lot of time around other artists, I've come to understand that not all artists uh, are clear on, on what that term means as well. Um, so I wanted to make this uh, short video to hopefully help you, the art collector, um, make informed choices and maybe to help you decide why a Karen Talbot art G. Clay might be the right choice for you. So first the term G. Clay. G. Clay comes from the French, uh, which is translated, translated as to squirt or to spray. Um, and it's generally understood it's uh, to squirt or spray ink on paper, um, just like an inkjet printer. Um, so technically, gicles are a type of inkjet print, and they're the best type of inkjet print, the highest quality. Um, but while all gicles can be classified as inkjet prints, not all inkjet prints can be classified as gicles. Um, gicles are really distinguished by uh, three important factors. Um, it is uh, printed on a large format, professional grade printer. Um, it is printed with pigments as opposed to dyes. Um, and it's uh, also printed on an archival substrate. Um, here in my studio, I have uh, an Epson inkjet printer and it's, it's a pretty good printer. Um, it has six different inks in it. And um, as you can see, here's a photograph that I printed with it. Um, it's pretty good quality. It's rated to a very high resolution. However, um, this is not a printer that, uh, that I have ever used or would ever use to produce gicles. Um, there are four primary features that distinguish a gicle print from uh, other um, lower quality inkjet prints. Um, the four features are uh, color, resolution, substrate on which it's printed, in my case heavy watercolor paper, and finally longevity. So let's talk first about color. The primary advantage when it comes to color is that gicle uh, prints, like this limited edition gicle, um, are printed uh, using eight different colors. Um, and in, in this case, they are eight different pigments um, that are sprayed onto the paper with, with very tiny nozzles. Um, as I said before, we have our Epson here in the studio, which is a good quality printer, um, but only has six different colors. Um, so depth of color is one major advantage of Chiclis. Our next consideration is resolution. Uh, resolution is typically measured in dots per square inch. Um, for something on the computer screen, um, usually you want to have 72 dots per inch. Um, for something that's printed, uh, usually you want to have at least 300 dots per inch. Um, and even uh, you know our, our trusty little Epson that we have here in the studio, prints over 5,000 dots, dots per inch resolution. As I said, very good resolution. Um, however, even our little Epson uh, cannot do um, what a gicle printer does. Um, and uh, the reason is because of the quality of the nozzles um, that are used to apply these inks. These, res these nozzles are uh, about the diameter of one millionth of uh, a strand of hair. Um, so the resolution is, um, is very fine, and that's one other advantage. One of the most readily apparent advantages of a gicle reproduction uh, is the substrate on which it's printed. Uh, large format professional grade gicle printers are designed to print on a variety uh, of media. Um, in my case, uh, my uh, gicle reproductions are uh, reprinted on a heavy rag watercolor paper, very much like uh, the paper that I use for uh, my original pieces. And as you can see, um, both papers uh, are, um, are, are heavy uh, and of a high quality. Um, in many cases, it is hard to tell the difference between uh, a gicle reproduction and an original piece. Um, I have one other uh, print here. Um, this is also printed on archival paper. Um, but unlike uh, the gicle print, um, you can see the paper is not um, of that same uh, quality and strength 
and um, it wouldn't probably be likely for you to look at this and think um, that this print uh, was an original piece. So the final and perhaps most important um, consideration when, uh, when thinking about a giclée print is longevity. Um, and for the serious art collector, um, this may be uh, the thing that you most want to think about. Um, as I said, uh, my uh, limited edition giclées are printed on archival paper, um, just like uh, my open edition smaller prints. Um, the difference is that these are printed with pigment inks, and these are micro-encapsulated pigment inks that um, in uh, accelerated aging tests, um, you know, with proper care, um, have been shown to not degrade in you know, over 100 years. Um, so this is a museum quality piece, and I feel very comfortable saying um, that this is going to be a lifetime piece. Um, and uh, if you're not able to purchase an original, a gicle may be your best bet because it will retain its value over time um, and may even increase in value. So in summation, um, because of uh, the wider uh, range of colors, because of superior resolution, because of the substrate on which it can be printed, and finally, and perhaps most importantly, because of longevity, um, I highly recommend Gicle prints if you're not able to purchase a, a, an original. Um, these reproductions will make wonderful lifetime pieces and a good investment for serious art collectors. Um, so once again, my name is Karen Talbot. I'm coming to you from my studio in Laguna Beach. I hope you found this video uh, helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Thanks so much.